Hey everyone, welcome back. And this is my review of The Seven Deadly Sins, Episode 7. So, okay. okay, a lot of people, from what I understand, were really pissed off at this episode. I've heard why, and I can't say they're completely wrong, and here's why. Apparently, in this episode, they're supposed to introduce a, like, black demon dog creature by the name of OG, or or also or something like that okay and they didn't it was supposed to be before King was even introduced in, the, in this episode and they didn't so the reason I can't say they're completely wrong is because I do remember the creature normally I would say who the fuck cares but I don't remember what relevance that character might have later on in the series because I've been told like if they don't reveal it soon then that would <laughs> have like a major plot hole later on in the series. I honestly do not remember. So I can't say they're completely wrong unfortunately because I just don't remember. So yeah, hopefully if that is the case then hopefully they do introduce that character in the next episode or two. Alright. Because normally I don't rant on series that don't follow the source material perfectly but I rant on plot holes. Especially ones as major as these people are making them out to believe, so... Yeah. I really hope that doesn't happen, okay? But there, but this episode, overall, was really fucking good as always. I mean, the fu seeing how fucking indestructible the Bond is, seriously. First, we have that kit. Use this, like, rake or whatever. To stab Bond, and he heals himself. And then King shows up. And... Blows like this huge fucking hole right through Bonds' fucking chest. And he heals it right back up again instantly. So seeing how indestructible the Bond is was really fucking... It was really fucking uh, cool, though. Um, uh, let's see here. Seeing King's introduction finally like in the flesh was really cool. Seeing how he obviously has a crush on Anne was pretty funny. Try to ignore the, that stupid fucking background noise. Anyways, uh, seeing how King obviously has a crush on Diane was really funny. <laughs> and just overall, the episode was really good, okay? But I just don't understand what people are bitching about here because I don't remember. Which is why that I kind of have to be kind of scared here. Because I will gladly complain about plot holes and rant on them, okay? So I really hope that doesn't happen. Other than that, it was really good. The comedy we had here was really good. The action we had here was really good. Seeing how indestructible the Bond is, though, to me, that made the episode for me. Also, we got to see a flashback about Elaine, uh, Bond's, uh, the uh, guardian of the fairy order. Wait, did it say she was a fairy in this episode? Damn it, I think I just spoiled something. Well, anyway, she's the guardian of the fairy forest, yeah. Was, rather. Bond killed her in order to drink from the Fountain of Youth so that he could gain immortality. And that's basically his sin. And I think we got the flashback later on in the manga. But here we actually got it right now. And I, I think, anyway, that could be wrong. But either way, though, I have no issue with them rearranging events to make it seem more cohesive and whatnot. Which is what I, th what I think what they're doing with this series, anyways. So overall, I really enjoyed this episode. I really did. If you have yet seen this week's episode of Kaizai, then I definitely recommend you do. I cannot wait until next week's episode airs. Finally, this series was subbed on time. Fuck. Seriously. Finally, it was subbed on time. The day it came out, it was subbed. Thank you fucking God. Seriously. So anyways, yeah, if someone can answer me in the comment section below how exactly... That, like, dog thing will have major relevance later on in the story. Please do. I honestly do not remember. So, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.